Hey guys, back again. I just want to talk about a couple of things now. I've always said that we as targeted individuals are the prototype for the type of treatment and control that's to come to the masses. And something was said in my live stream yesterday from one of my good friends, that's artist targeted, Charlene. Uh, she mentioned something that certainly backed that up. And that is that the sheeple are basically going through their own confusion stage. And, and I don't think this could be more true. For those non-targets, the confusion stage is complete shock and awe. You are awoken with a sledgehammer. It is sensory bombardment. It is confusing and disturbing. You don't know where to run or who to turn to. And it is all fear-based. The fear of the unknown makes your mind run away with things and things escalate. Now, this current false flag that's being propagated by governments and media is the confusion stage of the masses. People are being bombarded and overwhelmed with information, contradictions and restrictions. And it's all perpetually driven by fear. Now, everyone has a tipping point and once awake, they'll most likely go through a self-loathing and anger stage. We need to be there to embrace them and educate them just as we would a new target. Next, I want to talk about the police, the good old boys in blue. You've been warned ad nauseum from targeted individuals of who these uniformed thugs truly are and that they allow these gang-stalking programs to run smoothly. Whether it be due to their inaction or participation, these roided-up meathead traders are complicit in the mental and physical destruction of targeted individuals and now people en masse through a depopulation agenda. There is no better job for a lifelong bully. They do not care about the citizens. They only care about their own and the corporations that hand them a paycheck. Now, I can tell you that in my state in particular that Satanism and Freemasonry binds the brethren, but mateship and doing the right thing fucking binds the rest of us. Now, yesterday were our freedom protests due to being locked down for the sixth time and these filthy animals fired rubber bullets and capsicum spray at peaceful protesters. Well, I can tell you this is the line in the sand. No longer will the Australian public trust the police. You'll forever be seen as traitors and treated as such. Now, I have some footage here from the real Rukshan and it shows you how the, this criminal organisation goes about conducting business. All right, guys, until next time, keep fighting. Bye. started Jizzle. they pulled out some sort of gun with rubber pellets or whatever there is empty ammunition and they're just firing these pellets into the crowd just started spraying everyone indiscriminately media doesn't matter who it was everyone was being sprayed and just uh, it's just chaos here and I think it's completely unnecessary chaos because the people have already gathered here they're already protesting uh, this is just a show of force a show of control
done to it. She was a hero, a hero last year, and now look at this. Communist China. This is something you see the Chinese CCP do to the people in, the Hong, in Hong Kong when they're shooting rubber pellets into the crowd. After rubber pellets, it goes to live ammunition. This is the escalation, and we don't live in a country like that in Australia. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And just to think that the people are still there, like all this is pointless. It's just silly. They should have just let them say whatever they want to say, disperse, and go home.